Hello, in this tutorial, I will grade a frame from a video shot on Sony X3000 in a neutral profile. I will process it in two stages. At first, I will try to restore highlights, and then I will do the rest of the picture. If you watched my video, which is called, What is the LUT? You already know that you cannot write to the LUT a correction similar to the highlights and shadow sliders in Lightroom. This is because when restoring highlights and shadows in all raw editors, complex algorithms are used that break the image into several components, as you do when retouching by frequency separation. But not everything is so bad with LUTs. As it seems, still something can be done, and now I will demonstrate it. If I move brightness slider all the way to the left, I will get a lot of artifacts. In my case, this method does not work, and here's why. Let's see how this image looks in different color channels. I press Ctrl-3 to see the red channel. There are some details in the sky. Now I press Ctrl-4 to see the green channel. And here we see that there are very few clouds here. And finally, here is the blue channel, a combination of Ctrl-5. The sky here is completely even. Thus it turns out that I have information in one channel out of three. Is it possible to somehow write the data from one image channel to another? Yes, it is. And Channel Mixer will help me with it. Let me remind you that you cannot repeat this correction using curves. I go to Channel Mixer. I turn on the green channel for clarity. And now I'm moving the green point in the direction of red. That is, I'm recording the information from the red channel into the green channel. This is how the green channel looked like before. And here is after. As you can see, something has appeared in the sky. Now, I will do the same with the blue channel. I have details in the sky in all three channels. Let's see the composite image. I press Ctrl-2. This is how the image looks in RGB mode. Here's before, and here's after. Clouds appeared, but something went wrong with the color. In this case, we only need to darken, so I will move the lighten slider all the way to the left in order to leave the effect of the channel mixer only on those colors that have become darker. Much better. I'm going to raise contrast a little in the highlights with the help of Luminance Curve. Now, my correction needs to be applied only to the highlights and only to the brightness component of the image. So, I switch to Mask Tab. In the master section, I disable the LUT effect on hue and saturation, leaving it only on luminance. Now I'm going to the mask. I will keep the LUT influence only onto the highlights. The mask, which is based on luminance, doesn't work very well here, so I will make another mask. I'm going to base it on the W channel in RGBW color space. Here's before. Here is after. So, I was able to recover some details in the highlights. Decide for yourself whether you need it or not. I just got a suitable example to show you. Now I go to Menu, Edit, Compile 3D LUT, load it as External LUT, and reset the settings. Here is the external LUT on the pipeline. Now you can fully enjoy all the tools of the program retaining the correction. To begin with, I will go to Curves. Select CMYK2 Curves and adjust the color and contrast here. I'll try to eliminate the green gradient in the sky. Now I'm going to brighten the image using black channel curve. I will put an additional point in the highlights in order not to lighten the sky. Then I'm going to switch to CMYK model and using luminance curve, I'm going to brighten the shadows while increasing the saturation. That's what happened. The increase in lightness is compensated by brightness slider. When working with JPG, the brightness slider and the luminance curve work with the same brightness component of the working color model. The only difference is the curve can be bent as you wish and the brightness slider always works like a gamma curve. That is, here it was possible to use just luminance curve. Let's adjust contrast.
I will set the black point. It was a sunny day, the white balance was automatic, so the image looks colder than necessary. I'm going to fix that. Of course, you should adjust the white balance before working with a color, but in this case it only became better. I do not like a strong reflex from a t-shirt on a chin, so I will correct it on a grid. I will try to raise the contrast by darkening the green. I will pull on the point down with the shift key pressed down. I continue to set contrast using volume tool in shadows highlights mode. I will make greens in the shadows even darker. That's what happened. Here is before, here is after my correction. Finally, my image has clouds that appeared in the sky. Contrast and saturation I need. I can still go to Channel Mixer, slightly reduce the saturation of the green shades, make them colder, and make the skin more orange. Compare now before and after. I press Alt plus left arrow. Here is another frame from the video. Once again, I go to Mask tab. This is how the external LUT works. If you do not like how the external LUT works, you can correct it. To do this in the edit menu, I select Swap Current and External LUT. Now my correction, where I add color and contrast, is in External LUT. Please note that since the master section is applied after all corrections, it was not loaded from my external LUT here. But I will correct the mask. Let's compare again, before and after. I don't really like my mask here. I'm going to fix it. I will turn on Mask Preview for convenience. The sky looks cleaner on this correction. Here's before, here is after. This is a pretty complicated color correction, but I hope I have clearly explained and showed everything. Like and subscribe to stay tuned. Bye everyone.